blessed and pleasant good afternoon boys and girls moms and dads thank you for joining us today for another episode of children's bible minutes brought to you by the anglican diocese of belize mookie and i are excited that you are here with us listen he's annoying he is very annoying he's been pressuring me pressuring me what become of the boy that they poured the oil on yesterday you remember in yesterday's story in yesterday's story samuel who was hannah's son that was promised to god and was working in the temple with eli samuel became a prophet for god and was telling people all about god and then yesterday we heard that samuel went to visit a family because he was looking for a new king because saul had gone cuckoo and so he was there and remember we spoke about yesterday that this man had jesse had lots of sons and when samuel saw the sons that were big and shopping samuel thought that they were the one that god had called but they were not and so what happened what you think happened it was the short ruddy one that was out in the fields taking care of the sheep. that's the one that god saw because we said yesterday god does not look on the outside god looks on the inside exactly and so we said we needed to be careful because god could read our minds and god knows the things that we want to say even when we don't say them uh-huh and so today we're going to listen to another story about this guy you remember the name of the guy yesterday who samuel poured oil on his head david exactly his name was david and david was a shepherd but david is about to do big things today yes he is he is he is he is david is about to do big things today and if you turn with me to your beginner's bible you will notice that if you have any bible if you look in first samuel chapter 17 verses 1 to 51 there is a story about david going against a giant in battle now I don't know how tall David was, but I'm going to think maybe he was just a little bit taller than me. Okay, so everybody is taller than me. Shh. But I'm going to think he was perhaps just a little taller than me, and and he's going to go against a giant. You know how big a giant is? Six, seven, eight, nine feet maybe. Big, big, maybe bigger. I don't know. But little David, who is a young boy, remember he was the last of his daddy's son, little david is going to go and fight against this giant but i'm not going to tell you more i'm going to ask that we watch a video that tells us a little bit about this battle so let's have a look david and goliath first samuel chapter 17 verses 1 through 51 the philistines were enemies of god their army came to fight king saul's army a giant soldier named goliath yelled Bring out your best soldier to fight me. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves. He boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. <laughs> King Saul's soldiers were afraid. They did not want to fight the giant. Meanwhile, young David was taking food to his brothers. They were soldiers in King Saul's army. When David reached the camp, he saw Goliath. David heard the giant's challenge. I am not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul called for David and told him, You cannot fight the giant. You are too young. David replied, God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was big and heavy. David wasn't used to wearing armor. David went to a nearby stream and picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him. But David didn't care. He said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. David put a stone in his sling and ran toward the giant. Then he let the stone fly. It hit Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw that their hero was dead. They ran away. Yo, did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, okay, let's recap. So here is 
the army of the Philistines going against the army of the Israelites. And all the Israelites are afraid. Why? Because the Philistines had this big giant named Goliath. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to pick a coil with an elephant. You know why? An elephant is bigger than me. But then none of the soldiers that Saul had wanted to fight this man. And little David was taking food to his brothers who were a part of King Saul's army. And he heard what the giant said. He heard the giant said, if I beat you, you will be my slave. If you beat me, I, we will be your slave. And David said, I will fight him since everybody freed. No, no. When King Saul heard this, King Saul said, mm -mm, bring that little boy to me. And when they brought him, David, and he saw he was really a little boy, King Saul said, no, 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 mm -mm. no, 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 you're too small. You can't go to fight for us. And David gave him the perfect answer. I'm not going to be fighting alone. God is going to be fighting on my side. And so King Saul said, all right. And he gave David his armor. But guess what? The helmet too big. The sword too heavy. The, the shield way too much. And David couldn't wear it. So David took down all of that, left it there, went to a stream, found five smooth stones. Now, he was used to using stone and a sling because the stone and the sling would have been what he used to stone at the wolves and the lions and the stuff that would come after his sheep. Because remember, he used to protect his sheep. And of course, he knew how to use the sling, good, good one. So he picked up his stones and he went in front of the giant and guess what the giant lived. The giant did, the giant point and laugh. I said, this little thing, this is what you said of all the soldiers you have. This is what you sent to fight me. And guess what? David was not moved. He was not afraid. He was not ashamed. He was not embarrassed. He just put the he stone in the sling and he spin the sling around and around and around. And when he let that go, that stone flew and into the forehead of Goliath, flat on his back, dead, dead, dead. Mm -hmm. And all the people rejoiced at the fact that David was able to win, but David knew it wasn't his. David knew it wasn't him. David knew it was the power of God that was with him that gave him that strength and knowledge. And that is what we have to remember. Remember, no care how big, don't care, don't matter how big or how small you are. When you do for God in the name of Jesus to bring glory to God, nothing too small is unacceptable to him. And no person too young, you can't tell anybody you are too small to do that. No, 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 no. As long as you have a heart of willingness to serve God, that is what is important. And guess what? Talking about serving God. This month, we are celebrating vocation month. And boys and girls, I am asking you, if you go to church and you would like to hold the Bible, help with the candles, help with the carrying the cross, these are things that you could do in order to bring glory to God inside your church. We have a program called Acolytes. Uh -huh. And it's training for children who want to serve God. You could maybe be a part of a children's choir if your church have a children's choir. You could help to hand out the bulletin and books in the morning because you're not too small to do that. No, you're not. As long as you could follow instructions and you love God and want to do for him, bam, you could serve God by serving in your church. Easy as that. Easy as that. Mm-hmm. Guess what? We have a song that we have to listen to, and it tells us all about the bravery of David and how David was not afraid, not even because he was small and young. He was not afraid to take on big challenges because he knew that God was going to be with him. Let's listen to the song. David was a kid, watching sheep was what he did, and he did it very well every day. He kept the sheep safe and sound when the lions were around, and he kept the wolves at bay. And then along came a day, all the people were afraid of the Philistine army coming round. They had a giant on their team, very hairy, very mean, and every day he called them out. 
that you're weak and you're chicken and you're scared. Boop, boop. And for the next 40 days he dared. Every day he would call for the best. But nobody thought they were up to the test. Cause he was bigger than the biggest, and taller than the tallest, and badder than the baddest of them all. He was rougher than the roughest, and tougher than the toughest. But David had a friend in God. And so we knew he'd be okay, okay New Goliath was a giant opposition But he took him down anyway Nothing high, nothing wide Nothing any shape or size Can stop him Nothing big, nothing tall Nothing any size at all Can keep him down He's a whole lot bigger than your mind Now it's ready Listen, small things in the hand of a big God becomes awesome things. Don't ever doubt that. So, Muki, can I have the Bible hero? The Bible hero for today is, of course, young David. Da -da -da -da. David, of course, was a shepherd boy and he loved God. And a mean giant named the Goliath, lame Goliath came to fight David's people. And even though Goliath had big weapons and was covered in armor, David was not afraid to fight him. Why? Because David had God on his side. So David took five stones and his slingshot and he let it fly. One of them. And the stone hit Goliath in the forehead. And that was it. David had killed Goliath and the people knew that David was serving a mighty God. Yes, indeed. So today's hero is David. And guess what? The story of David doesn't end there. Mm -mm. We will continue to look at David's story. But unfortunately, you remember that we don't have Children's Bible Minutes on Sundays at 2.30. No, we don't. We have Children's Bible Minutes at 4.30 p.m. on Facebook, but at 4 o'clock on Love FM Radio and TV. So look out to see Mookie at 4 o'clock tomorrow. But you know what? We are out of time. My goodness, look at the time. 15 minutes, just like that. So before we go, we have to say a little prayer. And I want to thank you for joining us. But you mind bowing your heads and closing your eyes that we could say a prayer? Excellent. Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we thank you so much for always being with us and for allowing us to spend time with you. God, we heard the story of David, one stone, one sling. God, we know that sometimes the big people, the grown-ups in church, they might look at us and think we are too small. But help us, Lord, to not think that about ourselves. Help us to remember that even the small things that we could do, pack away the books, hand out the bulletins, 
put on our robe and carry the cross or the candles or something. Every little thing that we do is a big thing for you because it's in your service. Help us to not be afraid when challenges come our directions because the truth is, God, you are bigger than any challenge that could come and we know that we should rely on you to get us through all things. God, right now there are some people going through some challenges in their life. Some that are sick, some that are sad, some that are hungry, some that are poor, some that just don't know what to do because of the hardships they're facing. God, please help them to feel that you are a big God. Help them to know that you love them. Help them to feel your presence and please make a way for them to do better and to feel better in where they are. God, we love you. We thank you that we could spend time with you and we thank you that we could learn so much about you through our stories. Watch over us and our families. Protect us, we pray. We lift ourselves and our prayers up to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, remember you are never too small to accomplish big things through the power of God and for the glory of God. We have to run off now. Uh, Mookie has a date to record some stuff for Love FM, but don't worry about it. We look forward to seeing you on Love FM tomorrow and then again on Monday at 2.30 for Children's Bible Minutes. Listen, we had fun with you. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Bye for now.